meet Daniel Cassidy and Caroline Taylor, two Brits in Brussels that are also about to become Belgium. Daniel's mum, dad, granddad, brother and sister-in-law all voted to leave the EU, a decision that still keeps him up at night, six months before Brexit. Anxious. I like isolated, stressed. Um, it's really something that weighs on us every single day. It, very, very rarely do we hear our government or even the EU institutions um, specifically address us. Us also refers to Daniel's colleague Caroline. She's one of the 1.3 million Brits abroad. She decided to get Belgian nationality for the sake of her family. The thought of having to travel as a British person and with a Belgian son on my own post-Brexit was simply unthinkable for me. So that's really what pushed me to do it. The difficulty here is that it's not necessarily a decision that you've come about on your own terms. You've been forced into it for practical reasons because you have to look out for yourself because in, in all reality, no one is really looking at the practical situation for us. But for Caroline, the return of investment is high. And it's actually quite cheap. It's 250 euros to become Belgian and it's a thousand pounds for my son to become British. So uh, all in all, um, no, uh, a very good deal, I would say. A deal that more and more Brits in Belgium have been signing up for, as Patrick Lusney from Statistics Belgium tells us. Well, we see since 2015, actually, we see a spectacular increase in the number of British uh, citizens that apply for Belgium citizenship. We had in uh, 2015, we had, had like 130 uh, British citizens applying. Now we have a tenfold uh, increase and we have uh, 1,300 Brits uh, applying for Belgium citizenship. Yeah. A figure that is likely to increase when the 2018 stats come out next year.